Hey guys, welcome back for a super motivating, super extreme clean with me. Wait till you see the gross messes I found in our bathroom. I'm going to be doing a lot of bathroom deep cleaning. I'm going to be trying out a game changing new cleaning product, new cleaning tool that will make cleaning easier for you. I'm also going to be sharing two crock pot meals, one low carb crock pot meal, pumpkin energy bites, and a ranch cheddar dip. So a lot in today's video. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for some cleaning motivation and speed cleaning. So let's do this. We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Hey friends, so today I am bringing you along two days of extreme cleaning. This was on day one. It was right before nap time after lunch and I was planning on getting started to get everything picked up from the kitchen in the living room before nap time because during nap time Mike and I were going to go upstairs and clean out deep clean our master bathroom. The sink in our bathroom hadn't been draining for a while. I tried Drano. I tried a couple other different unclogging methods and nothing has worked. So I knew it was time to take things apart and see what the actual problem was. And let me just say it was way worse than I thought it was. So if you need some motivation to clean out your pipes in your sink, this will do it for you. Wait till you see what was in the pipes. Anyways, I'm also going to be sharing with you um, some crock pot meals in today's video, pumpkin energy bites, and a dip that is one of our favorites. So it's just perfect for the fall season. So a lot in today's video. And hopefully when you guys leave here, you have some crock pot meal inspiration, cleaning motivation, speed cleaning motivation, whatever it is. I hope you leave with a big smile on your face. I also bought a brand new cleaning tool that I want to try out um, on day two. I'm going to my friend's house to test it out because she has a lot of tile. So I'm going to change it or I'm going to try it out over there. Let me tell you, it was pretty game changing and just an amazing cleaning tool. So I can't wait to share that. Say, hey guys! Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Me. What's your name? Emers. Emers? Yeah. <laughs> what's your name? Me, Addison. You're Addison. Yeah. They're in tears in your eyes at every step of our goodbyes. So here in a minute, I'm going to put the girls to bed for their nap, and then Mike and I are going to go and clean out the drain and the pipes in our bathroom. And you guys, seriously, we found some of the grossest messes ever up there. So just stay tuned. But now I know why my sink wasn't draining. But we are going to get started, but then I had to stop for a second and go back downstairs to get a crock pot meal started. So I'll share, share that with you guys as well and then go back up to finish cleaning out the gross messes in the bathroom. And then also in today's video, I'm going to make a dip that we're going to eat during the football game this Sunday, a low carb crock pot meal and pumpkin energy bites. So a little fall recipe, but it's also a pre-workout snack or something that Avery takes in her lunches but I was waiting on a Thrive Market box to show up to make all of those so that's kind of why I was waiting to start the meal 
but I will also show you what I got from Thrive Market while I'm at it. And I've been ordering from Thrive since about April and I truly love them more than I thought I would. To be 100% honest, I was a little hesitant and I was first introduced to them back in April and I was like, oh, should I do it? Will it be worth it? And I asked you guys on Instagram and I got a lot of positive feedback. So I decided just to give it a try. And I am truly glad I did because I mainly use it to stock up on healthy snacks for the kids. I just put in a big order about a month ago, right before school started so I could stock up on Avery's post-school snack bins. I have these bins that I fill with healthy snacks for when she gets home. And then that way they're filled with healthy healthy snacks for her when she gets home. She likes it because she has options, but I like it because I know they're all healthy, healthy grab and go. And then I also have those options when I pack lunches really quickly, just grab something, throw it in there. And you'll see me restock those bins here in a minute after I get my box. Or I also use my Thrive orders for healthy meals, just to have healthy meals on hand in the pantry when I don't feel like cooking, when I need something quick and easy. Avery is also in a couple of different activities three nights a week. We are gone during dinner time, and I typically pack a dinner for the twins. So it's nice to have healthy grab and go options that they will actually eat so they can get their bellies full while we're out, but it also keeps them entertained while we're out. This is all of the fun you get to look forward to after we get that crockpot meal going. Can get out or what? No, I'll take care of it. I can. Is that okay? You sure? Yeah, that's what I do. I'll take care of it for you. Yeah, good luck. I'm running around like a chicken with its head come up, cut off. See, I can't even talk, but I like race downstairs. I was waiting on some groceries to get delivered so I can start our dinner. I'm making a crock pot chicken meal. So I will show you that here in a minute, but there's just nothing better than after a long weekend, having the convenience of groceries being delivered to your front door. So at least now we are set for pack lunches and snacks this week. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got really quickly. love about Thrive Market is that you can choose your own membership. So for our family, we went with, went with the 12 month membership and that comes out to about $5 a month. And that's just what worked best for our family. I knew how much we would be using this, but there is also a one month membership option. And if you do choose the annual membership, there is a 30 day risk-free trial. So give it a try. You have nothing to lose. You can cancel that within 30 days and get a full refund. So I had two different ideas when I was placing this order and I am super excited. There's some recipes I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in today's video. Two crockpot meals, a healthier-ish dip for football season while we have people over watching a football game. And then I'm gonna be making some pumpkin energy bites before I work out for Avery's lunches, after school snacks, and I'm really excited to make those. So I will show you guys that here in a little bit. Then I was also focusing on snacks. Avery has volleyball once a week and then she has soccer twice a week. So I'm always looking for snacks to keep the little ones occupied and then packed. We usually pack dinners for the twins just because it keeps them entertained while they're eating while we're watching Avery play. So. I got some toasted honey o's for the girls snacks. Avery also will eat this sometimes in the morning. Some organic pumpkin, canned pumpkin for the pumpkin ener energy bites and I cannot wait to try them. Some salsa for game days. Peanut butter and jelly. 
or like a fruit spread for peanut butter and jelly. Um, I got some of this um, organic tomato basil sauce to go with this. This is pretty much a staple for my girls. Um, pumpkin seeds, which I'll be using in a recipe. Bars upon bars, snacks, um, quick breakfast, <laughs> that type of thing. Okay, so I cannot speak to how good these are, but Mike eats them. They're called Wonder Noodles. Um, angel hair, I think they're like a low carb option. I think that's why he goes for it, but he makes these about once a week. So if you guys are curious more about this, I can share some of the recipes he makes. Um, I just got some seasonings for the crock pot meals that I'm making. And I got some garden ranch seasoning mix for the dips and one of the crock pot meals I'm making. Um, dark chocolate chips for the pumpkin energy bite, bacon bits, for the cheddar ranch dip that I'm gonna be making. Um, chia seeds, I believe those go into the pumpkin energy bites. Pancakes, I think I'm gonna make a bunch of pancakes and then freeze them for the girls in the morning. So these are our favorite tortilla chips, but I also wanted to try these. They are made with avocado oil, seasoned with sea salt, and they're just, they're grain free. Um, a little bit healthier of an option. I am obsessed with these, that's why I got four bags. I eat these every single day. Avery takes them in her lunches. She eats them after school for a snack. They are so good and they have also different, like it's coated with different flavors, but dark chocolate peanut butter is my favorite. And then I got some black beans because I'm gonna be making a lot of crock pot soups here coming up and then some veggie sticks for the girls. I also like Thrive for myself because I have PCOS and per doctor's orders, it is best for my body to eat low carb. Women with PCOS are more likely to develop serious health issues like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, etc. And it's also one of the main leading causes of infertility. So that's why I had to go through IVF to get pregnant with my twins and high insulin is both a symptom of PCOS and a main driver of a lot of the symptoms. Therefore, it's best for my body to eat a lower carb diet. And I even talked about this um, recently, but I noticed my rings don't fit, uh, like my wedding ring won't fit on my fingers, just like on random days. It's not every day. And it ended up being due to me eating more carbs in a day. I would notice that the next day my ring wouldn't fit. So for me, you know, of course I'm not going to completely cut out carbs, but I do try to eat lower carb because my body is at its best. And I was told it's best to eat foods that don't spike my glucose levels as much. And this is why I have found Thrive Market so helpful for our family. And Thrive Market is an online membership based market on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. And I'll talk more about this later, but I got the yearly membership and it comes out to $5 a month. Now I wanna preface this by saying carbs are not the enemy. It's just for my specific body and PCOS. I just feel like looking at what foods make me feel the best has really been life-changing for me. You know, I can eat a lot of carbs, but then I pay for it in terms of how I feel and how my body reacts. So while I will never completely cut out carbs because I love my bread, I do make it a point to eat lower carb when I can and as much as I can. And I just feel better. And my doctor thinks me eating lower carb and my frequent exercise is a big reason why my PCOS symptoms are minimal compared to a lot of other women. So that always motivates me to keep going and keep up my, you know, healthy eating, lower carb and exercise. And with Thrive Market, there's guaranteed savings. Members save on average of $32 on every order. And I just like it because it's truly easy to shop and find things I, that I want for my family. You can easily shop for different lifestyles. So 
if you're keto, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and then there's many more you can shop for. You can even sign up for auto ship so you never run out of your favorite products, but you don't have to sign up for auto ship. So you could be like me. I just go on, it's about once a month, shop like normal and get the stuff that I want sent to my door just like I would any other grocery store. But something else I really like is you can shop by specific foods or items or specific things so let's say you want snacks let's say specifically you want chips you want chips as a snack and you want them to be high protein you know like for myself i can go on there and i can give very specific very specific values that i'm searching for so snacks chips whatever and find high protein snacks which i really like for those lower carb days Something else that's really cool is the company's Thrive Gives initiative also makes it possible for low-income families, teachers, veterans, gives them access to natural, organic, and non-GMO foods and products for the first time, which is makes me feel even better to stand behind a company that truly gives back. But today, Thrive Market wants to give you guys a new offer. If you use my link in the description box, you are actually going to get 25% off your entire first order, plus a free gift with your first purchase. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey. And if you do give it a try, let me know some of your favorites, what you like, what you're ordering. There is so much on their website and I'm always looking for more ideas, more things to try. But yeah, let me know what you guys like. So I was using my Rubbermaid power scrubber um, which I'll have linked in the description, but I was using that to really scrub the little drain stopper thing and then the pipe. Um, my little drain stopper, I don't know what the proper term for that, like the little plug, whatever. I've cleaned multiple times. Mine gets really dirty often. Mike's doesn't get as dirty as often, but clearly it had been a while since I changed it or cleaned it out. So I was using the Rubbermaid power scrubber and vinegar and baking soda to give it a really good clean. So while I was in here taking the faucets apart, I figured I might as well spend the time and do a little bit of deep cleaning. So I was wiping down the countertops using my Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner to clean the vanity and then the Jaws glass cleaner to clean the mirrors. I was also going to clean the toilet, baseboards and walls and spot clean the grout. How are you guys doing? How are you hanging in there? I, you know, I think it's really important that I check in on you guys. I mean, you guys are always asking how I'm doing. So I want to check in and see how you guys are all doing, how you're holding up. I feel like the start of the school year is always really busy for us. Avery has started soccer couple nights a week volley she's also started volleyball so we're pretty busy homework and all of that but things are going really really well on top of that Mike's pretty busy with work he does a lot of budgeting for his company and as we move into quarter four end of the year they start looking at the budget for next year so his work hours are getting longer and busier but you know what we're doing it all with a smile on our face we are happy we are blessed and grateful 
to be living this life. So really nothing to complain about. Um, but how are you guys doing? Let me know. Um, you know, I like when you guys share different things in the comment section. You know, sometimes people will share hardships that's going on or good positive things or maybe that you need prayers, whatever it is. I want you to know that you're always welcome to share what's ever going on in your life. And it also allows me to get to know you guys a little bit better as I'm responding. So feel free to share anything that you want to in the comment section. You got that something, baby, that I can go without just like a poison in me. You're all that I'm about. I was using the Zep Z E P foaming wall cleaner to clean the walls. This is a great product. I also like using Dawn dish soap. So if you're out of a wall cleaner, Dawn dish soap is amazing and hot water to clean the walls. I will say the Zep foaming wall cleaner, I got it from Home Depot. It does have a very strong smell. It's a, it is a chemical smell. So just be aware um, when you're using it. And then I was using the Mrs. Myers lavender spray to wipe down the baseboards and the doors really quickly and then i was going to use resolve foaming carpet cleaner to spot clean the grout yes foaming carpet cleaner it does a good job of cleaning the grout so i just kind of spray it on there let it sit for about 20 minutes or so and then go back and scrub a little bit and as i was cleaning did you guys see my closet it was a mess <laughs> um you know i can't keep my whole house clean at once you know, it's like I'm cleaning one room and as the other, as I'm cleaning, the other rooms are getting messy or, you know, even when I'm doing like a whole house clean, it's always over multiple days. So whatever I cleaned on day one and is then a mess by day two and so on. So I've just gotten to the point. It is what it is. I have three small children. That's life. And I know one day I will have a completely clean house, but that is not this day and that's okay. So here on day two, well, first I'm going to show you what the crock pot cream cheese chicken ended up looking like, just so you can see what it looked like when it was all done, um, when we ate it. But then on day two, I'm going to wake up, do a few things in our bedroom, and then go to my friend's house. It was um, a day that Mike had the girls, so I had some time to be able to get some stuff done. I went to my friend's house to try that new cleaning product tool on their shower because they have a lot of tile, and this is where I think it would be most beneficial for someone, um, or even if you just need something easier to clean and my goal for my channel as you guys know it's to give you options and I understand that it's easy for me to bend over to get on my hands and knees and clean baseboards but I know that's not the case for everyone so I want to try to find new cleaning tools and methods that can help everybody you know not just someone like me who can get on their hands and knees so I will tell you that it worked amazing I was blown away I had high expectations but it did better than I even thought so I'm going to be sharing that and hopefully it can help some of you guys
I get asked a lot what that flat cushion or mat is on our floor and it is a dog bed. Um, I know it looks really uncomfortable and really sad actually, but we've tried to replace it and she will not use any other dog bed. So yes, that thin little cushion is our dog Reese, sweet doggy Reese. It's her dog bed. my friend Amy had used it in her channel and I've had a lot of requests over the past couple of months and I think it's also really important to show different tools and cleaning methods for people who maybe can't get down on their hands and knees as easy as I can or on countertops and just you know my ultimate goal with my channel is to make cleaning more fun and um, exciting and just show you guys different tools and methods and how to clean make cleaning easier fun more efficient and so that also includes everybody even if you're not able to get down on your hands and knees and bend over as easily as I can so hopefully this tool will help you guys I'm gonna try it out in my friend's shower because I have a lot of tile in here so I thought it would be a perfect um, place to really test it out and see how well this tool performs so let's see So this really doesn't have a name. It is just a extendable power spin scrubber. It's really great for grout. It has different heads. So depending on the surface that you're cleaning, it has different heads that you just kind of pop on. And the reason why I like it is because it is extendable. So if you have a hard time bending over, but you need to clean your shower, you can just extend it and you don't have to bend over. Um, it just, it makes cleaning a lot easier. And my friend obviously has a lot of grout um, in her big, beautiful shower. So I thought it would be a perfect test. Like I really wanted to, to really test it out. This is something that I thought would be very beneficial to my parents in their shower because theirs is very similar. And I wanted to test it out and then I was going to let them know. And I am, I already told my mom, like you need to get this and it's just, I think it can help so many people, even for me. I mean, I can get down and bend over, but it would make cleaning. I mean, for me in doing their shower, it, it made cleaning easier. It went very quick and to charge it, you just use a USB charger. So it it's easy to charge. And I don't know, I was very, very happy with it. I will have it linked in the description if you want to check it out.
so I wasn't going to get every single grout in the whole shower. It is a big shower and not all of the grout looked dirty. I think because it's such a big shower that water doesn't necessarily get everywhere. So I tried to focus on the main areas that I saw soap scum building up and then also I, I did clean the entire floor. I did wipe the walls with a rag when I was done but as far as scrubbing I just focused on the areas I thought needed it the most. So when I got home here on day two of cleaning, I was going to continue on and do a few more things in our home and then I was going to make a crock pot Mississippi pot roast. It is a low carb meal if you're into that type of lifestyle. Um, I was going to make that for dinner. I'm also making a ranch cheddar dip and then pumpkin energy bites. So. My friend luckily lives very close around the corner, so it takes like 30 seconds to get there and back. So I was able to pop over there, clean her shower, and then pop back, pop back over to finish up when I needed to. Again, did you see the twins room? Like I said before, my whole house is never clean at once. You're seeing me pop around, clean various rooms, um, but my whole house is definitely not ever clean. Um, I was going to tackle the twins room another day because I wanted to tackle the office since Mike wasn't in there working just going in there quickly picking up wiping down the desk and then vacuuming um, so really quick clean and this better homes and gardens pumpkin banana bread candle is wonderful it's great it's a good price it gives off a lot of scent so if you want some good fall candles check out walmart they also have a vanilla caramel spice that i'm in love with So 
So I will definitely have all of these recipes linked in the description. And I have noticed that it's really hard to find the description now. YouTube changed something, especially if you're on a mobile device but it's there there's like a little arrow over to the right that you have to drop down and then you even have to drop down again to click and find the description but they're all of the recipes in today's video will be in the description this is the mississippi pot roast it ended up being i mean it's always been one of our family favorites but avery loved it probably more than she ever has she had eaten dinner and then like an hour later and she ate a really good dinner and then like an hour later she asked for more and then she asked to have it for lunch the next day so it was a win because especially because when she packs her lunch she is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich turkey sandwich type of girl it's always one of those two so it's never like a meal like this so we loved it um, and we paired it with sweet hawaiian rolls like a bun that is a sweet hawaiian roll and then we added on some provolone cheese but you could totally I, I think it has enough flavor to just eat it plain and then we served it with green beans for the girls and a salad and then some broccoli for me because broccoli is my favorite um and then i also made this ranch cheddar dip i will tell you it's not my cup of tea because i hate ranch but mike loves it it's very easy to whip together things you can ha already have you know a lot of the um it's only a few ingredients and most of it you know you probably have on hand anyways but i like to keep these ingredients around for football saturdays and sundays we just want something to snack on if a few people are coming over we'll whip this together and then i had those chips from thrive market so i had that in the salsa and the cheddar dip And then it was time to make the pumpkin energy bites. And I'll be honest with you, I had never made these before. I make normal energy bites all of the time. And so this one was just a different spin on the fall that I wanted to kind of add something in there. Um, and it used canned pumpkin and pumpkin seeds. It's a very similar recipe to my normal energy bites that I make every single week. But this is just a little bit of a different um, recipe and it's healthy. It's great before I go work out. Avery likes them after school. I even throw them in her lunch and they have a lot of healthy ingredients, but they're also tasty. So they're always a win. So when I make these, I whip them up and then I put them in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes to harden up a little bit before I make them into balls because if they don't harden up, then they get really sticky. So I put them in the fridge and then I just wanted to pop into the half bath just because we were having a few friends over and I wanted to make for sure this was clean. So just wipe everything down. But with the energy, and then I was gonna go and finish the energy bite. So with them, put them in the fridge, let them harden up a little bit and then come back out and I will ball them up, put them on like a cookie sheet with, on some foil or something. And then I put them in the freezer for, it doesn't really matter. I mean, sometimes it ends up being an hour. I mean, you can kind of feel if they're hard enough. And then when they're hard, completely like frozen, I put them in a Ziploc freezer bag and we store them in the freezer and then you can pull them out and they defrost pretty quickly. I personally like them a little like harder, slightly frozen, like frozen enough to where you can bite through them, but to where they're cold, um, that's my favorite way to eat them. But they, these things are a staple in our house. Drunken 
So the last thing that I was going to do after I cleaned the bathroom, made the energy bites into little balls, I was going to fold some laundry and then I'll also show you what the Mississippi pot roast looked like when we were done. Um, but I had a lot of laundry to fold. Our laundry routine is one of those routines where we try to keep up on it as much as we can. You know, one load a day, like that's always the goal from start to finish. But just like with everything in life, I mean, some days you're on top of your game, on top of your routines, getting everything done, and then other days you don't. And so this was a week that just, it almost felt like everything lined up, like all of that extra stuff just seemed to line up this week. So our laundry got put to the wayside. So um, I was actually spending my time ready to get it all done, folded, because I felt like all week long that had been sitting on like my to-do list. So sat down, folded it all, and I was gonna put it away later um, after the football festivities. But I felt like I had a lot jam-packed in today's video. Um, if you guys want to see more recipes, let me know. We do a lot of grilling in the summer, but now that we're into fall and then winter's gonna approach here soon, we cook a lot with the Crock-Pot meals because it's easy and that's how I roll. Easy, simple. So if you wanna see more Crock-Pot meals, crock meals, please let me know in the comment section. Came back down and I put these, they were hard enough to be able to throw in a bag. I put them in a bag and then I put them back in the freezer and they defrost within like literally a couple of minutes. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I hope you found this video motivating. Anyways, have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.